What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the Arsenal Epic Big Time Club Pack Review and Breakdown, right? So we've already covered a couple of the other teams. But listen, lads, this Tommy Asu card, I, I think I'm going to put it out there, right? I think he's probably the best centre back in the game currently at the moment, right? And we're going to show you why he is down as a right back, but we will cover him in a second. But we also have Ben White and Jacka, who are both very, very strong, dominant players. We're going to get a, a kind of a bit of a, a training guide going for all of these lads as well. If you've missed out any of the other card reviews or any of the breakdowns, uh, check them out. And I will be back with some more once I come back from Barcelona as well. So Ben White is a really good centre back as well. A lot of the Arsenal players that have um, released have got like really good aggression. So you've got Tommy Asu, you've got Ben White, you've got Xhaka, and you've got Tierney who can go up a good lot of levels. And he's got very good base kind of stats with the aggression, with the speed, with everything that you could possibly want, right? So I think when we're going to be training him up, we obviously need to keep in mind that he doesn't have blocker as a centre back. So I do think he's probably best suited as a right back. You know, that's kind of where I would play him. So if that is uh, going to be the case, I would definitely try and get 80 ball control and 82 tight possession, which is seven points into dribbling. We'd probably try and get the dexterity up to 80 just to give the offensive awareness and the 73 balance up a good bit as well. Then you can pop in a couple into defense. You don't need to go overboard if you're going to go for a right back uh, because, you know, I mean, obviously you can go to the 90 with the aggression. It is a little bit overkill, I think, because, you know, you can still get four into stamina, but that just depends on your play style. You know, you don't need as much dexterity if you don't want this. I just like having balance of my players above 72, 73. So that's just kind of a personal choice, but you could get away with that, you know, have it at 70, um, the acceleration at 77, and then you could either decide whether you want to put the tackling up to 90 or if you like to kind of get forward a little bit you could put the dribbling up a little bit more there as well so there's a lot of scope with these cards of what you could do um you could also put his stamina up and his speed up as well so i do like this card obviously his play style is build up as a center back so that is one thing that you need to you need to keep an eye on probably wan if you're spinning for these packs wan is probably you know a better option all around um but i do like his card he's got some very very decent stats on him we've also got Xhaka here He's down as an orchestrator CMF. So this is kind of a bit of a change from his other cards um, that have been released. And we've had two anchormen. His standard card is an orchestrator as far as I know. But the other cards that we've had of him um, have been anchorman. So it's kind of a little bit of a change for his card. Um, and it changes a lot of his player skills as well. Because he does have one touch pass. And he does have... Uh, he does have a couple of the other stats there that you're seeing or the skills that you're seeing there as well. So he doesn't have pinpoint crossing on this card. There was a card release where he had pinpoint crossing. Um, there also was, I think it was the Marvelous Midfielders pack. But look, you can see there again, you've got your passing and your aggression really high with the stamina really high off the rip. And depending on how you want to play Xhaka, this is kind of how I would train him, right? So because he's an orchestrator, you do need that passing up to at least 85 for the low passing. I would probably go a bit higher with the way the game plays at the moment in terms of, um, you know, the passing and, you know, the time they do get blocked, passes get blocked. Uh, I've heard people, you know, people have asked me, does curl make a difference to this stat? It does sometimes, but it depends on whether you use stun and passes or not. That's something that you could you could keep in mind when you're building this card. If you wanted to try him out and do something a little different, we don't really worry too much about ball control or dribbling once we have ball control. So once that's at 80, we're actually fine with that. We're not going to be running with Xhaka. He's going to be more of kind of like a Pirlo type player that, you know, he's going to be slower than usual that we play in center midfield. And we're just going to be passing the ball off with him when we get it, really. So, I mean, we're not going to, you know, put too much onto his dexterity. He'd probably just bring his offensive awareness up a little bit. But again, more importantly, the balance there as well. Because he's a taller player, um, we do want that balance. We also want 80 into physical contact. And then this is kind of where you can decide what type of player that you want. If you want a more defensive-minded one, once you get to this stage, you can pretty much just boost these, this up to about, like, you know, I would probably go 95 with the aggression, um, or else you could kind of do a mix. You know, you could have a little mix, go to 90 with that, and then the lower body, you could bring his stamina up to 88. It depends on how you want to train him up. You'll still have one more point that you can pop into dribbling, but I think he's a fairly decent DMF slash CMF orchestrator He's not going to be the best player in the pack, but I definitely think he's worth looking at. We've also got Tierney. Tierney doesn't have that many player skills, but again, he does have that high aggression with 27 levels to train up. We're going to be able to do something with that when we train up the defendant. So we can get that to 90 fairly easily, right? We can also, if we want to have him as a defensive player, we can also get the defensive engagement to 90 as well because he has got a really good base level of acceleration. We don't really need to touch that too much. You know, his, his balance is 75, his acceleration is 85. That's pretty decent. Similarly with the 
stamina we don't really need to touch that too much either you know depending on how you play it you might need more stamina than 83 but i think that that should be fine and then it's all going to be about whether you like to get forward with him if you do try get that dribbling up to 80 and then you could finish off with the pass and have a left back that's 90 overall obviously not the best version of him in terms of overall um you know rating or whatever but i do think that that is a very solid version of him now if you don't need to go that high on the defense then you can decide whether you want to go like a bit more stamina and speed. You know, that's up to you. Or else if you want to just kind of flip that around and go to the nearly 90 with the acceleration, that's something that you could do as well. You could actually hit 90 acceleration there. Um, you still got a very balanced player with that 90 aggression. And then we have Fabio Vieira. Now, this guy is a bit of a bit of a strange one as well because he's got some excellent stats that can go fairly high. Again, we've got 87 and 84. Uh, passing stats there the dribbling is going to be extremely high straight off the rip as well tight possession is over 80 so that is yeah that's just a little bit of a downfall on him there i mean i like that tight possession around 85 because of the position he's playing but he does have super sub which is big he also does have um a very nice card in terms of he's kind of like a young kind of uh, player that you could build around and it will be interesting to see how he develops in future games he's got some lovely player skills double touch true passing Pretty much everything but one touch pass is, is the only thing that he doesn't have. So if we were training him up, we would have all of that. And then we would decide whether we want to have 80 dexterity to bring us up to 80 offensive awareness. And then we can pop a few into stamina and uh, speed. We don't need that too much. And once you get to there, we're not going to be able to get to shooting up too much. That's been a big kind of issue with a lot of these creative playmakers or a lot of these AMFs they've been releasing lately. It started way back with Simmons, the free card, the MVP Simmons, um, and or for PSV. And it's kind of continued on that a lot of these AMFs don't have good finishing stats, but they have fairly, you know, beastly stats in everything else. So that is just something to keep in mind. If you do take a lot of shots, right, that is something to keep in mind. If you don't ignore the shooting and just pop a few more into either dribbling or I would probably pop one or two more into shooting and you've got a fairly decent AMF. Now, the pick of the pack, lads, I've left you waiting. I won't keep you too long more, but Tommy Yasu, probably the best center back in the game at the moment he's down as a right back so a lot of people are kind of sleeping on the fact that he goes to 100 overall as a base card right so this is just an insane card 35 levels i mean 35 levels for this card is just ridiculous with the stats that he already has i mean looking at that card there that's a fairly decent card man with unwavering form blocker interception area superiority are you kidding me with this card absolutely insane everything that you could possibly want that's a fairly decent card straight off the rip without even training him up so if we are training him up we have two big options the first option you're going to see here on the screen is fairly self-explanatory it's going to be a center back focus on him that goes to 100 overall you can see down here in the player training position guide there 100 overall um we've had other versions of him but i think this guy is definitely the best because obviously this arsenal pack only went six levels this one only went 26 levels this guy goes to 35 so he does give you that added extra and we also have a couple of extra player skills with this guy as well um man marking and i think this yeah this card didn't have inter this card didn't have blocker so this is the first card that has blocker and interception and also man marking so if you're playing him as a right back we have another option for him, but this is the centre back, 98 tackle and 97 defensive engagement, 80 speed and acceleration, 89 jump, and he's also got 85 stamina and physical contact, 81 header, right? Right back version of him for you guys that want to play him right back, he does go to a 94, and um, that will boost up with the team play style as well, but that is another phenomenal beast at right back if you're looking to play a back three or you're looking to play a back five with another right back there, similar to Wambasaka, excellent defensive stats, excellent speed, acceleration, but the thing with Tamiyasu is that he's got the height as well and he's brilliant under the high ball. So that is it for me, lads, in the Arsenal pack. I'll be back later. We've got another couple of packs to go, but I hope to see you guys Saturday. And uh, yeah, peace.